little bit of an update vlog to do. And it's a bit difficult for me to do because I'm not the vlogging type. And it's a little bit personal, but I've got to tell you because you're going to notice in the channel in general. So, sit down. And I'll tell you why the sofa is now in the corner and I'm on my own on a Tuesday night. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Now as you know, I have been in a relationship for many years. However, recently that relationship broke down, like the motor burning out on a vacuum cleaner. And this last weekend, Amy moved out. Not far, she's only the other side of town, I've been there tonight. We're still very amicable. But, obviously, I'm now on a single wage in this house. I've kept the house because I can. Amy has a flat. She quite likes her flat. I keep it the house. Doesn't matter why, but I am. So that means that I can do filming here. Hopefully, no more, or not as much, filming at my mother's. In that bedroom, you may have noticed on some of the videos, there's now a bed in that bedroom, which has limited it somewhat, I'll be honest, I haven't been filming a lot over the last couple of months. You haven't noticed because I'm very scheduled up, and in fact this is out of sequence. So they're gonna be seeing the old way until probably October-ish. That's in the great terms up, in which case we might do a weekend video. But I thought, you know, I'll film this now, tell you, come clean, because you're going to start to see on social media, I've got to do more vacuums to earn money. I'm already refurbishing those for the people, and I'm hoping that can continue. I'll also try and get more in to do. So yeah, here I am. Let me show you the front room. You know, never actually see my house. It's not done. There's still you know stuff in here that needs to be moved, but it's getting there. Let me show you how I'm going to start my life. We're going to start by getting the spider. Get off my wall. Look, the V11, still going strong. Let's put that down now. Let's leave this up there. Right, yes, let me show you how my front room looks now. Because it's getting there, there's still a lot more to go. That bookcase is temporary. The T. Oh, yeah, look, this is my viewfinder. I found out the other day, oh look at that, I'll stop that, that the Amazon Fire TV stick and my Huawei phone do screen mirroring. So basically, I'm now, as you can see actually, this is in 4K. And the reason it's in 4K is because I can sit my tripod sort of there and look at what I'm doing so I can check I'm in shot. That's all that's for, and not have to use my camcorder very much more. So that's good. See, so that's going. That is actually for upstairs, but I don't have a TV unit at the minute, so that's there. I'm getting some furniture at the weekend, actually. My stepsister is very kindly. So you can see, it's all been manned up <laughs> since I've been single. It needs to be manned up in a child friendly way, though. This is Technology Corner at its infancy form. This is a Pentium 3 compact desk pro that i got the other day actually it runs windows 2000 it's all right i'm actually backing up the person that gave it to me gave me a little bit of discs and stuff for me to back up so i'm doing that that's my current pc if you remember we built that last year or the year before still going strong however there will be an update on that very soon because that is not long for its world this actually is something that we'll look at in a minute my rolling stuff out of the way. That's my ThinkPad R500. That's the keyboard and mouse for that. This is my main PC. I picked this up on Facebook the other day, this monitor. It's amazing that there's a picture of my children. So, yeah, this is my current desk setup. My speakers, little Logitech. They're not long for this world either. I'm getting a nice surround sound soon. This is Stuff Corner. There you go. There's all the floppies that I've got to 
back up for the owner. All oh, my various bits and bobs. Look, there's, there's Old Faithful. Look, that's run my channel for so long, but the angle, of the width of the screen is starting to become a bit of a limitation. So keep that about. But yeah, we'll do that. This is this is the shelves. Look, there's my meet and greet pass from Neil Moore's Great Adventure Tour earlier on this year. There's been a little poster that I stole from Coco's. Went to see that show. Mark Point on his Shattered Fortress. Other stuff that sort of appeared. Other stuff, really. That needs to go to Amy, but we're still doing the clothes. Move that out of the way. I still have the hamster. You wake. He's moving. There you go. Hello, buddy. We're waiting for Amy and the kids to get fully settled before he gets moved over. So, he's staying here for now. There's the Tinko. Gosh, I've still got to film. They wanted me to film a Versus video with the Dyson V11. So, it will happen. I think it's still got some charging. I've been using it. Yeah, 33%. So, there's that. Toy box will go eventually. I'm keeping the Happy Land. I get to play with the Happy Land. Woo! That needs to go in the kitchen. The sofa. I'm keeping this sofa. And I'm getting a big comfy chair as well. And another dining table that will go there eventually. I get to keep the rug. Yay! Look at the flipping state of it. Although that's actually not too bad. Because between this and that, if you remember when we had that horrible carpet in here that just got destroyed. This is a massive offcut that we use as, well, I use, as an entrance mat. I have Duo P, Zorb, Cobasan. Don't know if you've seen the video with my dry carpet cleaning applicator. But basically, this is all ripe for doing videos of that. There's probably not else, not else I'm going to show you, I'll be honest, because this, this is just my house, really. Obviously, I have lots more plans for the channel, which you'll see in more vlogs. I must try and do more vlogs. This is crappy hallway corner. Look, there's the pan out. Doing very well. Very well indeed. This is the kitchen looking a lot emptier and bigger than it did before when there were four of us living here. And yeah, we're sort of we're getting there. I just thought I would do this just to bring you up to speed at where we are. However, I put my hand over my address, which I well, my work address, to lighten the mood. I have a box, yes, we're going to do this as an unboxing video as well, because with all of this newfound space and doing vacuums, obviously I can't use Crap Heavy anymore. We'll see Crap Heavy again, I have plans for him, but unless I happen to be at Mum's and need to film something at lunchtime, we won't be using Crap Heavy. And the Vax 6130SX is just a bit boring. So in this box is... In theory, my new bench vac. Shall we take a look? Get back into the proper Becco 1987 workflow. Oh, that's better. On the floor, with a box, with a vacuum cleaner in it. My head, out of shot, so you can't see me awful teeth. Yes, this! As you came the bay, I've been waiting for a moment to unbox it. This came by the ever fantastic Mr. Adam Attar. Many of you will know him, especially if you like pneumatics. He, I think he's one of the mods, or the mod, of the pneumatic Facebook group. And he got a job lot of vacuums recently. And in it were these, I thought, God, cool, they look great. And basically ended up buying one. I asked him for, because I don't know what condition this is in, I haven't seen it. I did ask him for a tatty one. You know, I'm going to use this to clean out other vacs. So don't give me a minter that you can sell. Yeah, but feel very free to give me something that you know is a bit dirty and a bit smeggy and a bit all bloody. So this is what we have. I don't actually know what it is. I've seen the pictures, but I haven't actually seen them in detail. It's one of those. Let's Pop them out on the floor. There's his bit, look. With, uh, what a surprise, look, a pneumatic hose. 
All right. Although with its right hand, that's okay. That's cool. Here is the filter that goes with it. I think everything else is just packaging. So, that's cool. Let's get rid of some of these. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Gareth Sheen, if you're on Facebook you see these, commented saying that he knew what they were. But, well, look, it's a commercial canister, look. New idea. Run by a company called Green Clean UK. That would be where this came from. Ultimately, I would imagine. There is a very tatty foam seal underneath. And literally nothing else to ID this at all. Literally nothing. That sits on there. It should take bags. We'll have to work that one out. But yeah, it basically sits on there like that. And clips down. This is the bench back, folks. Nice long cable. Very long cable. There's the on off switch, it is off. We'll turn it on, what's the time? Ah, quarter past 11. We'll do a quick switch on. Or shall we? Or should I wait until tomorrow? You know what? I might, obviously, this will be in a second to you, but. No, we shall carry on, the, well, I shall carry on filming this video in the morning. What we shall do is wrap the cable up. That seems like a sensible thing to do, doesn't it? We'll wrap up the cable for Mr. Becco's new bench rack. It needs a full refurb. And to be fair, I might let it jump the queue somewhat. We need to see if we can heifer flow it as well, don't we? Because the bag fill tube is a bit bigger. If not, I try and find some bags to fit it. Won't we? There we go, look. We'll pop that there. Oh, <laughs> oh well. The hose goes on there. And yeah. Little dinky shop vac type thing. That's quite manoeuvrable. Yeah, there is nothing, no ratings plate, bugger all. Lots of pat test stickers. Pat test ran out in April. There are literally piles of them. Oh yeah, they've all just peeled off. Perhaps <laughs> we peeled them off. Ah, oh, of course you did. Yeah, get all that green clean rubbish off. Get it back to being nice and orange. Yeah. So, there we go. We have a new toy to play with. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah, well, I can't bother to wait until tomorrow. Let's fire it up now. Ready? still winding down there it goes it stops that is awesome very nice indeed I don't I don't think I'll even replace the end I might just put some fresh tape on it this is going to get abused this is going to hopefully be used to clean out any vacuum that we get basically what crap Henry used to be used for it will get a full refurb because it needs it Nice, we'll do a little thread on this as well. And then hopefully, class this as the before video. And when it's done, you should be able to see the difference. Look, it even comes out of his wheels, though. A bit pointless. Okay, nothing to identify it at all. But hey ho, there we go. Ooh, look, it's got a broken wheel, which. Isn't going to be a pop at all. That won't be an issue. Ow. Yeah. 
So my commercial canister, as it is, all done and ready for action. Hopefully to feature in many more videos, although not before it's after. So that's my knife, basically. Where I stand now, good news for you because I have lots more time to do videos such as this one quite late at night because I don't have to worry about being completely silent and this, that and the other. And I can crack on a lot more hopefully. And this will have a little after video all of its own another day. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.